Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students so up until last class we uh, looked into the um, uh, topics of um, uh, tangents and uh, um, we also worked out uh, examples based on uh, gradient, divergence, curve, um, we calculated directional derivative and things like that. And uh, in the last class we started uh, looking into more like uh, differential geometry uh, aspect of uh, vector calculus. So like tangent, normal, binormal and then we will look into the serret Ferenet formula. So in the last class we, uh, we derived a formula for the uh, tangent as uh, r minus small r dot uh, dot product with uh, dot uh, sorry cross product with uh, dr dt so cross product with dr dt is equals to a zero vector where uh, where our uh, r is the position vector is the position vector vector of uh, point p so if we have a curve like uh, if you have a curve like let's say in three dimensional geometry this is x axis this is our y axis this is z axis that's origin so if we have a curve like this so uh, let's say this is my point p and this is my point q and the position vector of the point P is R. So, R is the position vector of a point P and a capital R is the position vector of any point and a capital R is the position vector of any point on the tangent line. on the tangent line and uh, the equation of the curve is of course given by r is equals to ft so if you want to calculate uh, r is equals to ft so if you want to calculate the equation of the um, equation of the tangent uh, line then in that case uh, we calculate the given for the given curve we calculate uh, dr dt and then uh, taking the difference of capital r which is the position vector of any arbitrary point uh, with small r and then cross product with dr dt will give us the required um, equation of the tangent um, to that uh, curve r is equals to ft. Now we can also express this equation uh, in terms of a Cartesian coordinate system. So we are familiar with uh, the equation of the tangent uh, in three dimensional geometry to a to a uh, to a surface uh, so we can uh, actually express this uh, equation in terms of Cartesian coordinate system as well. So how do we do that? Um, so we can write r as a position vector of op as uh, xi. So I have told you at very beginning that uh, when we choose r, r is always x, y, z. So xi plus y, z plus z, k. So let us write that. And then from here I can calculate dr dt as uh, dx dt. So x, y and z are the functions of t and uh, i dy dt j plus dz dt k or I can also write uh, dx dt comma dy dt comma dz dt. So, of course, if you can either it is up to you whether you write in terms of i, j and k or you write in terms of as a triplet. All right. So, the equation, the equation of the tangent line of the tangent line at the point P is given by so, if you remember the last uh, in the last class we derived something like r uh, capital R is equals to a small r plus lambda times dr dt. So, small r is basically our x, y, z plus uh, dr dt lambda times dr dt is uh, dx dt dy dt 
and uh, dz dt. So, from here I can write capital R as uh, x y z. So, I can write capital R as uh, capital X, capital Y and capital Z. All right equals to small x y z plus lambda d x d t d y d t and d z d t. Now, from here I will take this triplet on the left hand side and then we will equate the uh, coefficients of i j and k from both sides. So, ultimately we will obtain uh, x minus small x by d x d t um, y minus small y by dy dt and z minus sorry small z. So, this should be capital Z minus small z by dz dt equals to lambda and here capital X capital Y and capital Z is any point is any point on the tangent line on the tangent line at small p x y z. So, this is the required equation of the tangent line in terms of Cartesian coordinate system and uh, you may have seen this type of uh, uh, equation uh, in three dimensional geometry for the equation of a line uh, in 3D. So, this is just an, an another form in terms of a Cartesian coordinate system and for the vector form we know it is uh, capital R minus small r cross product with dr dt. So, now uh, let us work out an example where we uh, see how we can calculate the tangent line at a given point. So, um, example find the equation find the equation of the tangent line of the tangent line to the space curve x equals to t, y equals to t square and z equals to 2 by 3 t cube or we can write r is equals to or do not write r, we will do something about it at the point t equals to 1, right. So, we have to find the equation of the tangent line to the space curve given by this equ these equations at the point t equals to 1. So, first of all we can write, so we can write r as of course, it is a function of t equals to f t equals to x t i y t j and z t k. So, instead of x I can write or let us write x y and z. And now I can substitute x as t i, y as t square j and z as 2 by 3 t to the power k, right. And uh, now that we have this uh, equation of the curve in terms of uh, vector as a vector form, uh, I can calculate the I can calculate the equation of the tangent at the point p or at a point when where t equals to 1 first in terms of the vector and the second we will calculate as a Cartesian form. So, for the vector form capital R minus small r cross dr dt must be 0. So, that is the vector form equation for the tangent line. So, first of all we need to calculate dr dt. So, what is our dr dt? So, if we like to calculate dr dt then it will be uh, i because the derivative of t is 1 then it will be 2 t j and then 3 t square k. So, from here d i d t at t equals to 1 will be uh, 1 plus 2 j plus 3 k right. So, that is the tangent and uh, at the point t equals to 1 uh, r t will be. So, r t at t equals to 1 at uh, t equals to 1 will be um, it is 1 plus uh, sorry 1. So, this is i plus j plus 2 by 3 k. 
Therefore, the required vector equation will be capital R. So, capital R minus um, the vector. So, this is 1, 1, 2 by 3 uh, cross product with. So, let us write the cross product here cross product with dr dt. So, dr dt is uh, 1, 2 and 3 equals to a 0 vector. So, if we can be if we, if we want we can write this capital R as a capital X capital Y capital J. So, this is basically uh, capital X um, minus 1 capital Y minus 1 capital Z minus 2 by 3 and uh, cross product with 1, 2 and 3 equals to 0 vector. So, this is the required uh, equation of the equation of the tangent line at the point P to the space curve uh, given by that equation RT equals to um, RT equals to this equation and uh, that is basically uh, cross product with uh, the tangent dr dt uh, equals to the 0 vector. So, this is how we calculate the equation of the tangent line in terms of the in the vector form. Now, we can also calculate it in Cartesian form. So, Cartesian form would be Cartesian form. So, in the Cartesian form we have to uh, substitute um, um, t equals to 1 in d at dt. Then from there dx dt at uh, t equals to 1 would be um, 1 dy dt at t equals to 1 would be 2 and dz dt at t equals to uh, 1 would be 3 right and therefore the required therefore the required equation would be uh, the, therefore the required equation would be x minus uh, x minus small x so small x is um, is uh, the point p so that is 1 divided by dx dt which is again 1 and uh, then we have y minus small y so that is again 1 uh, which is divided by dy dt which is 2 and z minus 2 by 3 uh, divided by 3 and uh, where x y z is any point is any point on the tangent line on the tangent line at p 1 1 2 by 3. So, at t equals to 1 the point p is given by 1 1 2 by 3 and that x y z is any point on the tangent line at the point uh, this. So, basically we choose x y z as 1 1 uh, 2 by 3 and uh, that is the required uh, and then we substitute for x y z here. So, this is the required equation of the tangent plane at the point p. And uh, of course, this is in the Cartesian form. So, either you can express it in terms of the vector form or in terms of the Cartesian form that is up to you. And uh, yeah, similarly we can find a tangent equation of the tangent line for any arbitrary curve. We can have a curve something like x equals to, so this example ends here, uh, but uh, we can have something like x equals to cos t, y equals to sin t and z equals to uh, t. And let us say we want to find the equation of the tangent line at the point uh, t equals to uh, pi by 2. So, we will follow the similar steps and then use the same formula for the tangent line and you can be able to calculate the tangent uh, line in the vector form or in the Cartesian form. Um, you can also have something like x equals to uh, t square y equals to t to the power 4 and uh, z equals to 1 um, and uh, you are asked to calculate the equation of the tangent line at t equals to let us say 1. So, just follow the similar formula what we did before and that will give you the required equation of the tangent line either in vector or in the Cartesian form. So, the examples uh, uh, would not be that much complicated when you are asked to calculate the tangent line for a given curve. It might involve some doing some derivative um, which may have some higher powers or something like that, but I am pretty sure you can be able to do it. So, um, now 
we move to uh, our uh, move to our uh, uh, how to say a little bit more uh, into um, differential geometry aspect, but it's not too much differential geometry. Uh, it is somehow uh, involving our you know, tangents and uh, normal and uh, the senate parent formula. So keeping those in mind, we have to study these concepts. Um, so let's uh, let me let me introduce that via a small uh, statement. So basically now we are going to study about uh, tangent line at a point P of the curve R equals to F s or basically we are interested in unit tangent vector. So, s is the arc length basically. So, s um, um, uh, that uh, t is the parameter, but when we are using s, it is uh, pretty much understood that uh, s denotes the arc length. So, suppose you have a given equation of a curve in terms of arc length and from there how we define the unit tangent vector or first of all the tangent afterwards the unit tangent vector, uh, we will see that here. All right. So, I am I'm going to state a very important theorem but we will avoid the proof because the proof is slightly lengthy and uh, uh, it is out of the uh, scope of this course. Um, but uh, interested readers they can look into the books uh, that I have suggested in the references uh, for the proof. All right. So, the statement goes like this. So, if vector r equals to of course, vector f s be the vector equation of a smooth curve of a smooth curve in terms of in terms of uh, s which is basically arc length which is basically the arc length. So, s as a parameter, then dr ds dr ds equals to the unit tangent vector. So, remember dr dt is uh, I mean uh, in our previous class we uh, learned that dr dt is actually um, the tangent vector in a way. So, it, um, it, it actually gives us uh, um, um, how to say um, the, ta the, 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 the tangent uh, vector on that curve at a certain point. Now, if we want to calculate the unit tangent vector technically if we want to calculate the unit tangent vector then we have to divide dr dt with its uh, magnitude right. So, dr dt denotes the tangent to the uh, to the curve r is equals to f t. So, if we want to calculate the unit tangent vector, we must divide its uh, divide uh, dr dt by its magnitude. But this theorem says that if we have an equation r is equals to f s um, uh, of a smooth curve equation of a smooth curve, then uh, the, the unit tangent vector will be given by dr ds. So, if we differentiate r with respect to the uh, arc length as a um, as a parameter then in that case uh, the differentiation the first order differentiation will give us the unit tangent vector and uh, therefore from here what we can write is um, so from here we can write that uh, um, dr ds so from here uh, this is uh, basically the unit tangent vector and uh, from here i can write uh, unit tangent vector equals to dr dt times uh, uh, dt ds. So, basically dr dt is actually ds dt times unit tangent vector all right. So, this is um, in another result. So, that means uh, uh, our dr dt the original um, um, how to say ta ve tangent vector which was not a unit vector can be given by ds dt differentiation of this uh, arc length s with respect to t times the unit tangent vector. So, this is a very how to say a nice result to to remember 
uh, that uh, the differentiation of the curve with respect to the arc length is the unit tangent vector. Now, from here, from here, uh, this formula uh, actually gives us the equation of the tangent vector. Uh, where uh, the equation of the curve is given in terms of s. So, here we see that the equation of the curve is given in terms of uh, s and uh, in this case and uh, basically the tangent vector can be calculated as ds dt times the unit uh, tangent vector t. All right. So, uh, let us uh, let us see how we can calculate this uh, unit tangent vector uh, capital uh, unit tangent vector t cap. So, um, I can start with an example. So, first of all, suppose the given equation of the curve is x equals to t, y equals to t square and z equals to t cube. So, that is the e given equation of the curve. We have to find the equation of a unit tangent vector. So, either we can calculate d i d t and then divide it with, set, with its uh, magnitude uh, or we can uh, use that previous formula. So, I can write from here, I can write r is equals to t i t square j plus t cube k. So, this I can always write because I can write x i y j z k. Now, from here my d at d t is basically um, i plus 2 t j plus 3 t square k. So, that is my d at d t all right and uh, we know that we know that from previous formula d at d t is basically t cap d s d t all right. So, d s d t times t cap. So, that I have written here therefore, from here d at d t mod is equals to mod of t cap mod of d s d t is not it. Now, mod of t cap is 1 because t is a unit tangent vector. So, its magnitude is always 1. So, we have mod of d s d t and therefore, mod of d s d t and therefore, from here mod of d s d t is nothing but uh, mod of d r d t and that is basically 1 plus 4 t square plus 6 t to the power 4 is not it. And uh, now, uh, now I can write uh, this here as uh, t cap. So, the tangent vector is t cap d r d s and uh, d r d s can be written as d r d t times uh, divided by d s d t because this can be written as d t d s. I will bring it in the denominator and then it will become d s d t and uh, if it is in denominator then uh, d s d t is uh, this here and therefore, d r d t would be uh, d s d t is basically the basically the uh, mod or the positive value. So, it will always remain positive and uh, d r d t would be i plus 2 t j plus 3 t square k and uh, mod of d s d t that means taking only the positive value 4 t square plus 6 t to the power 4. So, this is our required uh, uh, how to say answer or the value of the uh, unit tangent vector to the given curve this here. Um, of course, as I said we could have divided uh, this uh, wait it is not 6 it is 9 actually yeah 9. So, we could have uh, divided this d r d t with its uh, magnitude and that would have given us uh, the unit tangent vector, but uh, in case if you did not have t and if you had arc length s uh, as x equals to let us say some s y equals to some s to the power 3 or something. So, that means the given equation is in terms of the arc length and then we had to use um, a different formula to calculate uh, that unit tangent vector. And uh, if you have something in terms of s then basically the derivative of that r with respect to s would, would give you the unit tangent vector. So, the unit tangent vector the curve and the arc length is related in that uh, with that uh, relation that t cap equals to d r d s 
and uh, it's also a very important relation to remember all right and uh, now that we have introduced the concept of uh, um, how to say uh, unit uh, tangent vector we can move to our next topic which is uh, normal at a point so normal or normal plane at a point so normal or normal plane at a point so what is the definition the definition is the plane through a point through a point p the plane through a point p perpendicular to the tangent at p is called the normal plane at that point all right so usually that's what we mean by normal so you have a curve and then you have a tangent at a certain point p so a line which is perpendicular to the tangent at that particular point uh, is called as the normal uh, to the to the curve um, at that point so usually a normal plane is like a generalization of the normal to a curve so if you have a plane that is passing through a point p and if it is perpendicular to the tangent plane at the point p then that uh, plane is called as uh, a normal plane uh, to the uh, to the given surface or in this case uh, to the given curve at that particular point p all right so let us see how we can express its equation so we know that uh, um, d uh, so we know that uh, the equation of the uh, tangent plane is given by capital R minus a small r. So, this we know capital R minus a small r dr dt equals to 0. So, this means that these two vectors are parallel, right. So, dr dt and capital R minus a small r are parallel to one another and therefore, their cross product is 0. So, if I write capital R minus a small r dot product with dr dt equals to 0, then capital R minus small r is perpendicular to dr dt and that will actually help us to obtain the equation of the normal plane. So, if r denotes if r denotes the position vector the position vector of any point on the normal on the normal plane at the point p whose position vector is small r position vector is small r then the vector then the vectors capital R minus a small r and dr dt will be perpendicular to one another that is capital R minus a small r dot product with dr dt equals to 0. So, dr dt is basically the tangent vector and uh, if we choose capital R as any point on the normal uh, which is normal at a point p then in that case capital R minus a small r will be perpendicular to dr dt obviously and therefore that equation uh, capital R minus a small r dot product with dr dt is basically the equation of the normal plane because um, dr dt and capital R minus small r are perpendicular to one another and that is actually what uh, normal plane mean that a plane which is perpendicular to tangent vector is actually a normal uh, plane at a point p to that curve. So, this equation is actually the equation of that normal um, plane at a point p uh, to the curve r is equals to ft alright. So, this is the equation of our normal plane. 
So, um, uh, in today's lecture, we saw how we derived the equation of a tangent, uh, tangent plane at a point P, we worked out few examples, we also gave the concept of a unit tangent vector and we derived the normal at a point uh, P to a given curve. Uh, in the next class, we will start uh, working with some examples and I will also try to introduce the concept of unit normal and if time permits, uh, the concept of binormal. So, I will stop here for today and I will continue uh, with our next topic in our next class. Thank you.